There's been a lot of really interesting ideas, apparently. That's the scrim box, at least. But in this round, Chronicle's the first to fall, getting taken down on that heaven challenge. But right back in there, Shados goes. Only the one to be found by him. And it looks like they've got control over that A site relatively easily there. NIP with a man advantage now playing into the late round. Get themselves the bomb. Actually go facing into Defo, though. It's a, a risky thing to try and attempt. Jules quickly. One enemy oh, that first one doesn't Last quite go their standing. way. Somehow Redgar gets away with it though. Finding both of the remaining players. Just coming up through mid there. It's actually a quick flank, but Dima sick. He's just gonna still a two available for the side of Gambit. And of course. No. No, no, come on. Did that, how is he doing this so aggressively? It doesn't make sense. It's so frustrating to watch and what was such a good position for the ninjas is now a bit of a rough one. That could be the ugliest bulldog skin I've ever seen. That's uh, an interesting one. This little shit down by Shados trading out Redgar to start things off. The fault line used, but now he's low HP and holding on to control outside here in main. He needs to get back into his teammates while they start the retake. That push up by Eccles caught them off guard, and now JD picks off Defo, leaving just one man to clutch it all out. Moving in towards the side here, Max will get the first, but not the second. Uh, leave a lot of control on A. That was almost a collateral. Oh, okay, Demon Sick. Oh, well, we know that he loves to lurk on this side of the map. It's something we witnessed many times. <laughs> sure. So you can uh, you can understand. Oh, you're on a rat, absolute rat. Rats and he's too for it. That distance. The reality is, though, Defo is just holding left. this with an operator waiting for him. And that was another wallbang hit, but he yep. just done 12 HP. Luckily, won't be able to finish up. Again, and I, that's not something I want to watch. Nobody wants that. You want to fight it. Nobody by Redgar. Follow up, and now here comes the rolling thunder. Shados is hunting them down, taking every kill. Like, there's the showstopper for NIP secured, but they've lost the round for it. Looks like we could be getting a fall as JD's going to try to get some damage done. But Shados deals with him right away. Chihuahua won't be getting any beastly plays with the Sheriff, and Eccles won't be getting any plays at all. Quick shutdowns at the start of the round by Gambit. We're going to hold on to having control here as oh. look to Blades on out. Of course, Nats did it the previous round. Here comes Hammer on the run. Oh, how did he okay. hit that headshot? But Chihuahua returned it right away in the Blade Storm, hunting Nats down. Run. He hasn't got a dash, so he can't catch up in him in a Blade Storm from Defo. Returns the damage and finishes the round with a 3k. No, they can't. Okay, they tried to. I wonder if they almost did that just to play the retake because they, d they don't want to get killed off by the showstopper so it's been utilized and now they're just wiping them down with having every single position Shados! This man's hitting every single shot that's put in front of him. It's gonna go up and well, there you go. Oh, that shot very nearly connected onto Ryan. Dimasic still lurking around in heaven, the player with the Vandal in hand. And obviously NIP got spotted going to B, so that fake didn't quite work out as intended, and Gambit are ready to mount this retake very quickly. Nats popping his ultimate and watching his back. He is inside Dimasic's head, and now they've got the info on the final players on the site, pistols in hand. This should be a cleanup, but Ryan is putting in big work on the back site, leaving Defo alone. A shorty comes out, knowing both players are low, he'll bypass the name and take the first. Now one bullet left. Is he going to go for the reload? Well, that, now he kind of has to. Chihuahua sitting inside a main. The hair bun being spotted up just above. And it looks like Defo is more than ready for that. Is the time on his side, though? It's going to be yeah. very close, but it looks like he's got it by a second or two. Clutch. Yeah, absolutely fine in the end. He's always played the map almost exactly the same way, unless he's on Phoenix. A bit closer than they might necessarily expect, but they've got a decent amount of utility, and he might even have to look to back away. He snuck his way here. Mid at any moment, Chihuahua's caught up above. Great angle wall to try and give Rhyme some space to actually play into these positions, but instead he'll just back away and look to actually work with the rest of his team. Yeah, not a bad idea, all things considered. Here's the rolling thunder as the wall breaks open, and now they're charging forward. The right side spotted. Rhyme will go down after one, but Dimasic again showing up to try and save the round, but Nats he clutches it out in the 1v2. Oh, he's is he actually just going to go forward into their faces? He's an absolute wow. madman! And try to play off the back of his teammates. Oh dear, they have not played Chronicle at all, but luckily it will only be good for one kill, and this is the best opportunity they've had. Thrown in a res to make this a two versus four. Redgar, no. Just no. I, just thank you. Thank you, Chihuahua. Thank you, because I, I didn't want to see that play. Oh, that's a spike. But it is now Nats! Okay, the Mystic was ready to trade. For time, Rocket has to be fired pretty soon. They've spotted Defo, but it won't find any targets. It opens a small bit of space, but here's the danger. 
when Gambit looked to make those retakes happen. So far, they've been flawless. And it starts off with Nats eliminating JD and giving them the info. Redgar, come on, man. Oh, it's a shotgun only player at this point. They finally got the spike down. They delayed it at least enough with the Hunter's Fury. And again, they've just put themselves in the perfect positions to go for some sort of retake. And the attackers are actually going to throw in a Cosmic Divide. Try and at least slow down and separate some of these angles. And Chihuahua seems like he's actually come alive in this round after what has been a fairly quiet map so far. The crossfire here. He's going to go for the knife there in though. I know Lothar's going to be so happy about that one. Killing him off through the Cosmic Divide, but it's still a two versus two. Rhyme left to try and finally clutch one out. And who would have guessed it? It's going to be another round for Gambit. And it didn't start far. It's been a little bit quiet. <laughs> Incredibly high push, and eventually the trade does come through off the blade storm. Rifle retrieved. They can get the spike down on A. And guess what, Mitch? There's gonna be a retake. I've never seen anyone try that. Just dive on him, spraying. See how it goes. I love it. Joao has done well already. <laughs> see what else he can get done as he moves on in, and that's nothing. Around the corner, Eccles trying to challenge up close for the first. He'll catch Defo off guard, but now Dimasek he's still in spawn. He's gonna go. What's the plan here? He needs to basically insta-dome the player trying to defuse and it's kind of worthless. Yeah, they gave up that map control on purpose. Now, yeah. stacked up on the B site, they've made the rotations come in. There's the right click, unnerfed and still dangerous. JD getting away with three on top, dropping to the side and looking for more. Redgar coming around the side, will be able to deal with one and Chronicle. Oh no! He's going to be caught in the open. A 1v1 Redgar caught planting as well. A 1v2. Thin out the numbers for NIP as well in the process. Default line push in from Nats. That trap wire needs to be destroyed, and there it is. No information now for NIP. They've got to push back in, and that's when Nats catches Dimasic trying to get on the ropes. He'll catch another in heaven. Nasty position. Ten seconds left. If they can just stop the plants, this round could well be theirs. Ten on the clock. Nats takes Eccles. Oh, as if he turns around and kills JD as well. Just let Nats do his thing. Which is like, force back. These fault lines that have been coming through have been just so irritating to play against. They'd be main to pick up that spike, but it's this fight in heaven that really represents the danger. Showstopper pop now, and that's a free kill. Ooh, the nade? Will it finish him off? Yes, it will. Okay, not bad, Rhyme. Not a bad heaven hold at all. Leaving it just onto one player to sneak on out and, well, poor old Red Guards. It's just whether they can do it on a consistent basis because that sort of aggressive play, it's not going to work every time. And, well, it's already been completely forced off the angle and JD is under serious pressure. He's already dead! Nats is just walking through! I, oh, God. I, I don't... I, it almost feels like bullying just having him I on the team. I genuinely find myself after some behind be able to come in late well he might not even be able to come in later it doesn't look like there's a lot of players left to kill he's on his way but nip certainly aren't they're just hunkered down right now waiting yeah, they'll even catch him off yeah, again it just comes down to rhyme attempting to try and get a few exits blast back just in an attempt to escape and uh, he might make it he really don't but as an organization, I mean, look, they decided to go to Brazil. They didn't even move their team over there. What? I, I, I don't even know. It's it's free low. Nats trading on the Eccles right away. Chronicle with another. And things oh, are starting yeah. to look a little bit shaky for NIP. They've lost their Sage. No res now in this round. And that was the saving grace I was looking at. They now need someone to step it up big. Nats has got low HP, but he's just protecting the flank, watching for the lurks and cutting off rotations. It's what he does every single round. <laughs> it's going to be impossible to take that heads up fight onto this 2 HP player, but now Chronicle's down, okay. and so is Shados. Nats has to clutch oh, no it, way. somehow wins the first. Time is going to be his biggest issue, though. He has to charge towards this side. It's already been halfway defused, and Chihuahua will get it the rest of the way. Eight rounds. Definitely. I, this is the best team in the tournament. I mean, <laughs> Oh, that an no! interesting fight. I did that, that was... did they both miss? That was... That was, yeah, that, that's what I'd describe as an interesting <laughs> fight. I don't... Uh, oh, Defo's now just gone ham. I don't know. That's that's a big risk. Said just send Nats out. Oh. He'll kill them for you. Oh, 12 to 8. Things aren't looking good. And let, just look at that timeline as well. NIP lose the pistol in the first half. Then they win two afterwards with a force bite. They win the pistol in the second. That's already four rounds that they thumb though in general. Me in a fight? Doesn't matter who it is. You, you <laughs> already safe bet on the other person. Nats is taken down right away. But then Chihuahua gets a little bit greedy and peeks on top of the wall. Defo's been holding this. They're going to move straight in towards Dima Sick, and Defo's just wrecked it. They're going to res, Nip? Why are you not resing? There's a player in heaven. What are you? 30 what? seconds left. What is this? JD, where are you going? 
go back to heaven and res, even even a heaven as players. But they caused me divided B. I'm pretty sure to get the res in. And then they didn't. And even a mark down from Gambit. Gambit just marked B heaven because they were like, oh yeah, they're going for the res right now. Oh, Defo. I'm oh. going to let him close it, Chronicle. Oh.